Hello guys, magandang araw po sa inyo lahat. Today, I'm going to make a seafood pasta. A very simple seafood pasta. So, and, okay, let's start. Of course, when we are cooking the basic, we must have us garlic and onion. Just need to chop this one. One piece is enough for me because I'm cooking just, just for me, <laughs> just one serving. And onion, also a little portion of this onion. Okay, okay, just chop this one. So yeah, my chopping board is moving because there is no tissue paper under under here should have but you know i don't have okay so let's pour now the olive oil also i've already pre-cooked uh, pasta the brand of this one is Diseco. where's that Diseco, yeah <coughs> This is the brand of the pasta that I am using. It's a spaghetti. The brand is Diseco. This is one of the best brand of pasta. This is the one we are using in our hotel. So make sure when you boil the pasta, make sure the water is boiling and it must be salted. Because when it's cooked, it's already tasty when you put the salt. Hmm. It's like you can already eat as it is. It's really nice. So yeah, I'm okay. We sauteed the we sauteed the garlic and onion. So I have some seafood here, and I put it down. We just saute this a bit. Of course, when we are sauteing the seafood, very important that we season this with the salt and pepper. Look at my salt. We just let it cook and when it's cooked, we can start to put the sauce. And here I have the, the seafood pasta sauce. Inside is a prawn beef and tomato sauce. That's it. And I will put it here now. So this is tomato sauce and prawn paste. I mean, it's a shrimp paste. We just let it cook. So as you can see, it's boiling now. So it means that it's cooked. And let's try how it tastes. Hmm, amazing. So by this time we can put now the pre-cooked pasta. It's all up to you how much you want. Yeah, it's getting dry. The pasta that I cook is getting dry. Oh la la. Okay. So if you think that the pasta is very dry, you can add more sauce. As you can see, I have some more. I put all. So we just let the pasta to absorb the sauce because the taste is there. The taste of the shrimp, the taste of the seafood will be there. So it will be very, very nice. Ok, 
okay let's just wait until it's cooked and we put some cherry tomato so maybe three pieces cherry tomato very important that we wash the food that we are using when we are cooking like this tomato I just bought it okay we cut it in four uh, just two pieces is enough just cut it in four okay so normally in our restaurant we will make when we make a seafood pasta we put this in the end like we don't overcook the tomato because the Italian people they like to make tomato that this looks fresh also it looks good when you put this in the plate okay but for us for Filipinos like us we want the food to be well done so it's up to you how you want your pasta to be done okay now it's good I don't have basil so I have nothing to put here to make it more nice to make it a bit uh, green or parsley I don't have yeah I think it's expensive I checked in the grocery this afternoon it's around it's eight dirhams so around 80 pesos very expensive it's a uh, like the one in the like this like a plant it's eight Okay, so I think this is done, but let's try. Hmm, very nice. Let's put this in the plate now. I have plate here. So, okay, let's put it in the plate now, as you can see. Wow. How to plate this? I don't have a top. <laughs> yeah, I don't have tongs, so I just put it as a normal like the one in the house. This does, this is not the right way of plating, but it's it works. It's okay. So this is my seafood pasta. So thank you for watching, guys. Ciao. Very hot. <laughs>